Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Home with Kimberly. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Last video, I took you along with me as I canned up some meatloaf. Mmm, looks appetizing. <laughs> Lots of fat. Um, and I told you I was going to bring you back and we were going to do a taste test. Now, before I get into that, I do want to point out canning meatloaf is not considered an approved method of safe canning by the uh, National Center for Food and Home Preservation. I put a link under my initial, my video that I canned up this meatloaf on um, and it gives you all the information about that and why they recommend that you wouldn't uh, can something like this. And honestly, I thought I would be safe canning this recipe because I didn't put eggs or milk or breadcrumbs in it, but it was pointed out to me by another fellow YouTuber that it's the density of the meat as well since I was canning um, raw ground meat and I had not par cooked it there is concern about heat penetration so definitely as with anything please do your own research before you embark on um, any canning recipe especially if you're a new canner out there I know there are a lot of people out there that do can meatloaf and swear by it for their families and say they're just fine but honestly um, I pr I'm not going to do it this way again. I was given a suggestion on how I could can meatloaf safely and I'm really excited to do that recipe so that will be an upcoming video and I'll show you how to can meatloaf the safe way. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you. So this is what it looked like. I realize that does not at all look appetizing but you know how meatloaf is. I mean when you cook it and you pull it out of the oven. It's got all the fat in there um, surrounding it. So I'm gonna drain this off as best I can. We're gonna get this in a skillet. I'll be honest with you, I actually already opened one of these up and tasted it, and of course it's delicious. I mean, this meatloaf recipe is amazing. So if you take nothing else from the canning meatloaf video that I did, please try out the actual meatloaf recipe. It's so good. But I'm going to cut this up. I'm going to show you how I would kind of heat it up and serve it um, for dinner. So come with me on that. All right, you guys. So two things before I get started. Um, first of all, I had a nasty little mishap when I just opened this canning jar. Make sure you have a proper lid opener for your canning jars <laughs> so you don't do what I did because that hurt. Um, so that's why I have a Band-Aid. Now, I understand this does not look at all appetizing and if you'll recall from watching the canning video I told you I only had regular mouth jars to use and do not recommend that even when I uh, do this recipe again the correct way I'm going to make sure I have wide mouth jars because this is what happens if you have a regular mouth jar you're gonna crumble it all apart um, getting it out of the jar but I drained off some of the liquid, some of the fat, but the rest of it's going to be on here. So I'm just going to put this in my skillet, which is probably borderline too hot. But let's go ahead and put this in here and start warming it back up. After a nice little mishap of cutting my poor little finger <laughs> and getting this all cooked up here, I thought, you know, meatloaf, you always got to have your mashed potatoes. Oftentimes I do green beans, but I had peas available, so I used peas. So here is our meal from the meatloaf, and this is one of my favorite meals. I love, I love the idea of being able to have something like this on hand. Now, like I said, it doesn't look gorgeous or beautiful coming out of the jar. Maybe not so much on the plate. I could probably arrange that better to where it would look a little nicer. But as promised, let me give you a taste test and see what I think. Okay, you guys, so meatloaf is done 101 different ways and I am a mustard girl. Always have been, so I gotta put some mustard on mine. 
I know a lot of people like ketchup glaze or just plain ketchup or barbecue sauce or whatever, but I love mustard. Let's give this a taste and see what we think. I don't know if I'm in that shot. Mmm, that is good. Really, really good. It is moist, tender. Yes, peppers want some, I know. You can't have any. It's it's the flavor. All the flavor of my meatloaf recipe, of course, is there. And onions are perfectly cooked through. It's it's delicious. It's a delicious meal in a jar, ready to eat. Now, again, I want to re-emphasize to you guys. <coughs> Um, I am going to have another video coming on, out on how to can meatloaf safely, so stay tuned to that. And if you decide to can meatloaf, I hope you will go off of that video and not this original video because it's not an approved method of canning. So um, I'm going to be the only one eating these. I, I just, I've got a couple jars left, so I'll eat them up quickly. Um, but it's delicious. I hope you guys really take away and enjoy the recipe. I really look forward to making the next meatloaf video for you. And I'm excited, this is so good. So good. Mm. One of my favorite meals right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing, like and share my videos, and I will see you guys next time.